Hello everyone, I am Simple Batra back here from Simple Digital School. Welcomes each one of you on MIS Lecture 29, Types of Decision Support System. But before I start, I request each one of you do not forget to press the like button. So, let's start. Our today's learning objectives are to learn the various types of decision support system in detail, examples of each type of decision support system. See in MIS lecture 28, we have already covered up what is a decision support system in detail. Today we have types of decision support system. First is communication driven DSS, second data driven DSS, document driven DSS, knowledge driven DSS, model driven DSS and web based DSS. Communication driven DSS when we say communication driven DSS means such kind of decision support systems which are enhancing the communication within the organization. So they are targeting the internal teams actually and including the various partners of any organization and what is the purpose of communication driven DSS? It is to conduct a meeting or for the users to get collaborated. They want the maximum users to get collaborated, discuss each and every aspect in the various meetings. Basically, this is a group oriented decision support system. That is why it is also known as communications driven group DSS as it makes easier for all the participants to send and receive the communication or messages and interact with each other in the real time from their respective locations without being physically present at a particular location. Now for deploying this type of communication driven DSS systems, the technology which is used is the web or client server based actually. Now what are its examples? Any kind of audio conferencing, bulletin boards, web conferencing, document sharing, electronic mail, computer supported face to face meeting softwares like Google Meet or interactive video conferencing, whichever is done today, they are basically examples of communication driven DSS. When we talk about group decision support systems, somewhere it is related to communication driven DSS because they are enabling the various groups to interact with each other and communicate each and everything about a particular decision in the meetings. Whenever we talk about the group decision support systems, they are somewhere related to this communication driven DSS only because this is enabling the various group of people or individuals to interact with each other at a particular moment in a collaborative manner to take the important decisions of any organization. Number two, data driven decision support systems. Now, which are driven by the data where data is very, very important while taking the decisions. They are targeted at managers, staff and also the various products or services suppliers. Why they are used? They are used to run the queries on the databases actually or used to run the queries on the data where houses. Why they are used? They are used to seek the specific answers for the specific purposes. Third point is very, very important that the data driven decision support systems actually want to access and manipulate the time series of internal company data and sometimes external data. See the data driven decision support systems work upon the time series of both internal and external data of a particular company and looks forward to manipulate those time series to take up the certain very crucial decisions of any organized for deploying or implementing the data driven decision support systems, there can be mainframe systems used, there can be client server link or via the web it can be implemented. Now, where 
in which applications data driven decision support systems are used which all systems are using the time series analysis like signal processing pattern recognition or the weather forecasting these are the applications which can use the data driven decision support system for decision making number 3 document driven decision support system these are the decision support systems which are targeting the various documents actually which are exploring searching the various documents and basically they target the broad base of user groups the larger group of users is targeted by document driven decision support systems basically they search the various web pages they find out the various keywords in the searches on the documents which are available in the form of web pages on the internet so the technology for setting up such kind of dss systems can be web or the client server system here what can be the example it is google docs google docs store the various kind of documents online and you can do the searching online in the google docs using the various key words Number three, knowledge-driven DSS. Now, when we say knowledge-driven, means such kind of decision support system which works upon the knowledge, and knowledge is the main part of expert systems which we have already covered in the previous lecture. See, in the expert systems, we have a knowledge base where the entire knowledge or learnings of the various experts is stored. correct and here this knowledge base is driven by the knowledge driven decision support system all the knowledge which is stored in the knowledge base is analyzed worked upon by this decision support system which is knowledge driven decision support system now earlier we talk about data data being extracted processed presented now here in the knowledge driven decision support system it is different from conventional systems we are talking about knowledge being extracted processed and presented only it will help the management in taking any decision regarding products or services but mainly they are a part of expert systems where only the knowledge base is used and the knowledge base stores all the knowledge the learnings of the expertise who have a proper knowledge of a particular domain again web and client server systems are essential technologies for implementing the knowledge driven decision support systems one of the example is mycin which is an expert system which is used to treat the bacterial infections and controlling the acne and the various doctors use this mycin which is an expert system model driven decision support system they are little complex systems and they use the various models which are already existing to solve the particular problem or in taking the decision when we say model driven means which are based on model which are dependent on a particular model now the model driven dss may employ a single model or a combination of two or more models depending upon the need of a particular application or the user who is using the model driven dss they are not data intensive they work on the basis of the inputs given by the decision makers or by analyzing the situation now they can be used by the various managers staff members of the business depending upon what is the goal of using the particular decision support system they can be used for scheduling for decision analysis again for deploying this there can be various hardware software client server technologies web pieces multiple things can be combined together for implementing this now which are the applications where the model driven dss can be implemented any kind of system wherever statistical financial mathematical analytical simulation or optimization is done such model based work is done there the model driven dss can be 
used number 6 web based dss this is the most sophisticated decision support system because it extends the capabilities of making use of world wide web and internet it is helping us take the advantage of www and internet in the complete sense to take decisions how this web based decision support system deliver the information or the final decisions to the end user or manager or the business analyst basically they use the thin clients they are the web browsers like google chrome internet explorer firefox actually to show the information to the final user and they are using the global internet or the intranet of a particular company now this is a very important point web based dss can be communication driven data driven document driven knowledge driven model driven or even a hybrid of all these technologies this is the type of decision support system which is suited to the multiple applications which are dynamic in nature which are online where the real time decisions are to be taken where the data analysis is to be done documents are to be incorporated knowledge is to be incorporated and the various models are to be implemented as a baseline now when we say the web based it is very important that they are using the web technologies for implementing the web based dss completely in a web based dss system you have a two parts one is the database which is running at a back and they are always stored on a legacy system and on the browser like google chrome internet explorer or firefox it is only the application part which is displayed that is why we say that the application can be accessed from a web based component displayed in the browser web based dss is the continual process of evolution web based dss is completely dependent on internet technology and as the internet technology there is a change updation in the web based dss the best example is web based customer decision support systems there can be multiple websites like amazon flipkart which might be using web based customer decision support systems for analyzing the patterns of the customer buying and customers surfing the websites analyze that which particular product is in demand and which is not in the demand and in which particular location geographically so this is all about types of decision support system our next topic will be group decision support system but before i say you bye bye please do remember to like this video it really motivates me thank you bye bye have a nice time